The shooting has shocked the community. A man hit by a bullet and hospitalized despite months of trying to warn police about his neighbor. Now, newly uncovered court documents show it wasn't just months. Neighbors have been trying to warn police for years. Our Uba Ali dug into those documents. Uba, we're curious to see what you found. Yeah, those documents accuse John Sochek of a long history of violence from striking a neighbor with a wooden stick, slashing the tires of a squad car, even threatening to kill other neighbors. This boarded home and debris filled backyard tells a story. The whole neighborhood has drawn a big sigh of relief. That started long before this high stakes standoff, five days after police say John Sochek shot his neighbor, Davis Maturi. Frustrated and angry. This, this shouldn't be. Because two years ago, he came after me with a two by four, or I should say a two by two piece of lumber. I was afraid I could, could have been killed. Carol McGarry says Sawcheck terrorized her. In fact, court documents show Sawcheck's issues with neighbors spans nearly a decade. This request for a restraining order in 2015 is from a mother of three who lived in the same home where Davis Maturi lives now. She wrote then, kids are afraid of sleeping in their own rooms or using the restroom by themselves, and I'm really afraid that something terrible might happen before something is done. Also writing, police told us to keep calling, but whenever they do come, John is already in his house and they can't get him. Uh, yeah. In 2016, I, Carol McGarry yeah, also filed for a restraining order after she says Sawcheck would yell at her and record her. The now 77-year-old writing at the time, she was thinking of leaving the neighborhood and moving someplace where I don't have to worry about this man. Instead of leaving, she adapted. It was definitely intimidating, and uh, I, I was certainly in a state of vigilance, just always kind of looking and listening. Among neighbors, an unspoken rule. Do not engage. Just ignore this man, do not take him on, do not argue with him. But she believes more could have been done. Particularly after the Matories started having problems and he was uh, uh, abusing them, it, it seems like they, they should have done some interventional action sooner. Do you feel safe today knowing that he's no longer your neighbor? Well, I feel safe uh, and hope that uh, he doesn't manage to put up the bail. Now the police chief apologized for how his department handled the situation and promised a full review. Community activists and the city council want that review to be done by an independent agency. Frank. All right, we'll keep following Aduba. Thank you.